Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Everybody, welcome to this class. Good evening to the ones that are just connected. Well, all right, guys, uh, welcome to this class. Um, well, it is 8, 8 p.m., so we're going to start. Um, but we're just 12 right now at the moment. I see the most of you are just girls. We just have one boy, that is Mr. Jose, and the other ones are just girls. All right, but just welcome to this class. Let me introduce myself. My name is Nelson Romero Ramirez, and uh, I'm going to be with you during this module, okay? So, um, <laughs> that I'm speaking too fast or something like that, please just let me know, okay? So if you have any question or something like that, feel free to ask me and, um, I'm going to be here with you to help you out, okay? So remember, if you have any question, please let me know. If you don't understand something, let me know as well. Do you know how to say, tengo una pregunta in English? How do we say that? Hello? Can someone, Hello. can someone tell me? How do we say that? Tengo una pregunta. In English. How do you say No one? No? Well, I, I'm guessing nobody knows how do we say that. So please guys, si de repente no entienden algo de lo que estoy diciendo, o estoy hablando demasiado rápido, please tell me. I understand that probably you are not going to be able to understand that well. And I understand that, okay? But please let me know. If you have any question or something, let me know. And I'm going to be here to help you out. So one more time for the other ones that were not here when I introduced myself. Let me do it one more time. My name is Nelson Adonai Ramirez, and I am going to be with you uh, for this module, okay? So I hope uh, we all understand. And... Uh, we're going to learn as much as possible, okay? All right, guys. So to start with this class, today we have something that is very important. And we have uh, something about vocabulary. Yes, we have vocabulary. So um, one more time, guys, please. Try to 
participate or at least say something because pareciera que estoy hablando by myself, okay? So at least say something. So I don't know, are you there? Can you at least say, yes, I'm here? Because I don't see, I just see Suyapa. She's the only one that I can see right there. But the other ones, I don't know. Oh, Beatriz, I can see her. I can see Tatiana as well. Uh, who else? Oh, the other ones, I don't know. But well, oh, Monica, I can see you as well. So welcome. All right. Thank you so much, girls, for turning your cameras on. Um, at least I know that I'm not alone, OK? So do, do you understand pretty much what I'm saying? Yes? Yes. All right. Okay. So for today, as I was telling you before, we have uh, vocabulary. Today, we're going to learn a little bit about vocabulary, about uh, transportation. I know that probably some of you already know some words. Um, and uh, let me share that with you. All right. Yes, here we have. Can you see the presentation? Yes. All right. Thank you. So, as I was telling you, for today we have vocabulary about presentation. Uh, transportation, I'm sorry. It is our first class. So guys, one more time. If you have any question, if there's something that you don't understand while we're checking one of the slides, please ask. Because if you never ask, you will never learn something new. So it's very important that you ask when you don't understand something, okay? So uh, to start with that, we will have uh, what's transportation. Transportation, as it says over there, it's movement of humans, animals from one location to another. In other words, the action of transportation is defined as a particular movement from an organism, a thing, from a point A to a point B. So for any of the images that you can see over there, can someone tell me the name of some of them if you know them? Can someone help me with that? Volunteers? No se peleen, I just get one volunteer. What is the question, teacher? The question is, we have uh, an image over there, right? Can you mention to me at least one or two of the means of transportation that we have over there on the image? The bus, the car. car. Thank you. What's your name, sir? Taxi, Mario Barona. Okay, sir, thank you for that. Thank you, Mario. What else? Who else can tell me? Airplane, boat. Airplane, boat. All right, cool. Thank you. So those are pretty much. Um, let's see. Let's get a message. Oh, sure. Um, thank you so much for your message, uh, Miss. I just got it here. So it says in Spanish, it says over there, what is transportation? Que es el transporte es un movimiento de humanos, animales, de un lugar a otro. Otras palabras, la acción del transporte es definido de un movimiento particular de un organismo, cosa de un punto A a un punto B. That's what it says over there, okay? I hope it's clear, he said. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So let's go with the next one. So I can see Hazel. 
Mariela. Okay, I can see her. Okay, thank you for turning your camera on. Okay. All right. So as you might know, we have some type of transportation, right? So I will need some help. But because I see that you don't want to participate, I will force you to participate, okay? So let me see, um, Jose, Jose Guillen, are you there, sir? Yes. All right, sir. Can you please help me with the first part? Uh, okay. Uh, road transport, transport. People traveling on the road are cyclists or they are using a certain um, tip this uh, is correct. Type. Tip types. Oh, thank you. Type of uh, bike. Bike. Vehicle. No. Vehicle. Vehicle. So as vehicle. So as mobile. Bus, bus, or trucks. All right. So it says road transportation. People traveling on the road are cyclists or they are using a certain type of vehicle, such as automobiles, bicycles, buses, vans, or trucks. So road transportation, as the name it says, it is the cars, right, that are going through the, through the road. So thank you, Mr. Jose Guillen. Uh, let me see who else. Let's see. Kenya Lopez, hello. Kenya, hello. Kenya Lopez, are you there? I think she did. Okay, Catherine Ramirez, are you there? Hello. Hello. Can you help me with it with the next part, please? Right transport. Uh, this includes our transport oversights. This can be either for passenger or goods transport and with different modes of transport, such as trains, metro. Thank you. As it says over there, rail transportations are the ones that include all transportation of rails. As it says there, this can be either for passengers or goods transport, and the most common that we have on these ones are the trains and metro. We also, in the USA, they have something that they call subway. No el pan, verdad? Subway. That's another completely different thing. All right. Thank you for the ones that just helped me reading that part. So just let me ask someone else. Because... Okay, hey, so Mariela, can you please help me read in the next part? Okay, water transport. Water transport or ship transport is watercraft carrying people, passengers. All right. Um, what can you tell me about water transport? Do you know anyone, hey, so? Uh Ship? Ship? Another one? Uh, boat. Boat, exactly. Thank you. So, uh, Miss Roxana Lopez, are you there? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello. Can you please help me with the next part? Um, teacher, estoy un poco perdida. Es que tenía problemas con con mi máquina problem. y estaba resolviéndolo. All right, no problem. So let me ask someone else. Gloria Ramirez, are you there? Yeah. All right, can you please help me read in the next part? 
¿Se lea el siguiente? Yes. Air transport. Air transport includes all transport through the air in a urban or regional context. This air transport includes local air traffic such as small airplanes or helicopters. Okay, so thank you. As it says over there, air transport includes all transportation through the air in urban or regional contexts. These ones can be airplanes or helicopters, okay? Those are the most common that we have uh, through the air transport. Thank you so much. And the last part, let me see. Um, let me ask someone else. Sí. Eduardo Mercado. Hello, sir. Eduardo Mercado, hello. Are you there? Hi. Hello, teacher. Can you please help me reading this part? Okay. Public transport. Public transport is passenger transport with its privacy urban system for to more be distinguished in collective and individual transport. Examples of collective public transport are transport be both from metro, train and from Okay, so as it says over there, pro public transport, it is that one that it has passenger transport and it is open to the public and it is available for everyone. Those are the types of transportation that we have. Keep that in mind, guys. And if you are taking notes, because at the end, I will ask you some questions to verify if you are paying attention to the class or not. So uh, at the end of the class, I will select some of you and I will ask you some questions about what we just saw, okay? So please pay attention to what I'm saying or pay attention to what your classmates are doing because at the end, I will ask you, okay? So um, here, it is part of the vocabulary that we are going to see today. This is the most important part of the things that we are going to see today. So I will make the pronunciation for you. And after that, I will ask some of you, so you are going to pronounce them. So pay attention to the pronunciation, please. Because we are going to be really careful with the pronunciation. So here we have a list. Number one, ferry. Number ferry. Two, car. Ferry. Number three, bike. 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 Number bike. Truck. Truck. Number truck. five, propeller plane. Propeller plane. 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 Number six, jeep. 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 Number seven, motorcycle. 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 Okay, number eight, golf cart. Golf, golf cart. cart. Number nine, helicopter. 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 Number 10, hot air balloon. Hot, hot air, air balloon. balloon. Number 11, canoe. 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 Number 12, train. 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 And number 13, plane. 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 All right. Thank you so much for repeating with me. So now I'm going to ask someone of you. Beatriz Inocente, hello. Hello, teacher. Can you please help me reading 
the number one, two, three, four, and five, please. Very. Beatriz. Um, no le entendí, teacher. Help me to pronounce the number one, oh, okay. two, three, four, and five. Sí, ferry, car, bike, truck, <laughs> propeller, plane. Okay, thank you. So now, Roxana Lopez, help me number six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Jeep, motorcycle, golf car, helicopter, hot air balloon. 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 All right, thank you so much. Let me see. Um, See. Lisette Castillo, can you please help me reading the last three? Okay. Cano, train, plane. Okay. So I'm going to repeat them the last time so you can pay attention one more time to the pronunciation. I will do it one, one more time. So at the end of the class, I will ask you one more time about the pronunciation. So pay attention, please. Ferry, car, Ferry. bike, truck, propeller plane, jeep, motorcycle, golf cart, helicopter, hot air balloon, canoe, train, plane. That is the pronunciation that we have for the first list, okay? So, any question that you have at this moment, guys? Any questions so far? I, I have a question about the vocabulary. What's your question? Uh, what means certain, certain? What? It's about, it's, it's about the other, the other images. Certain, how do, oh. Yes. Oh, I can see it here, certain, algunos. Ah, thank you. All right, cool. So guys, do you know all the meanings of those words? Do you know their meaning? One question, teacher. Yes. Uh, the numbers five. What is this? Proper planning. Propeller plane. It is. Yes, un many, avion, please. Un avión de hélice. Have you ever seen those? Most of these ones, este tipo de aviones, es utilizado en. How do we say it? At the army? The, El Ejército? Yes? Those ones that had... Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. All right, cool. Any other questions? The, uh, the number five, how to hear your... Number five, propeller plane, the same one? In español, ¿qué significa la número 10? Oh, number 10. Hot air balloon. That means um, los globos. Los globos aerostáticos. That we call it. Uh -huh. Thank you. All right. Any other question, guys? Um, the four? Number four, truck. 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 Es un camión o una camioneta. Eh, en español nosotros hemos adaptado esta palabra, aunque en realidad es un anglosismo. Quiere decir que adaptamos esta palabra. La mayoría de personas le llaman truck a una camioneta, pero en realidad lo que significa es camioneta. Es lo mismo. 
solo que hemos adaptado esa palabra y las personas a veces no le llaman camioneta, camioneta, sino que le dicen, andate a la troca, vea. That's the same thing, truck. Truck. También truck, parece que le dicen también a los pickup. No, no. That, that's a pickup. No. Okay. All right, so any other question? So far, so good. Por ahora, todo bien? So, so. No questions, guys. So if there's no questions, I'm going to move on to the next slide. Play. I'm sorry? Play. Plane. Plane, it's an avioneta. Thank you. Huh? So, because somebody said no question, so we're going to go with the next list. We have the, the ride, race car, subway, boat, scooter, skateboard, Rocket, submarine, taxi, bullet train, van, sapling, ambulance, and tank. So let me repeat it one more time. So after that, I'm going to ask any of you. I will repeat it one more time. Race car, subway, boat, scooter, skateboard, rocket, Submarine, taxi, bullet train, van, zeppelin, ambulance, and tom. All right, so let me ask someone. Let me see. Um, let me see. Tatiana Martinez. Can you please help me reading number 14? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, please. Race car. Subway. Race car. Race car. Subway. Boat. 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 Scooter. Stable. Rocket. Submarine. Okay, thank you. No, leave it there. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. Es importante, in this one, I'm going to say it in Spanish. Es importante que aprendamos a pronunciar bien. Why? Because when you're making a conversation with someone that was born speaking in English, alguien que nació hablando inglés, un nativo, they are really picky. Ellos son muy cuidadosos with the pronunciation, okay? That's why I'm always careful with that. Generalmente en la número 17 y 18, al pronunciarlas cuando estamos aprendiendo, cometemos el error de decir una letra E al inicio y decimos scooter o decimos skateboard. And that's not right. Yeah, when we pronunciate those words in English, Cuando pronunciamos esas palabras en inglés, no tenemos que decir una letra E al inicio. ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Únicamente el sonido de la letra S. What is that? Like that. Like. Como que pasa aire por sus dientes, ¿sí? El sonido de la S y vamos a decir scooter. Skateboard. ¿Ok? Skateboard. Oh. Por favor, okay. be careful on Thank that. You. Esos son errores que vamos a ir desde acá, los vamos a ir mejorando to get a right pronunciation of the language, okay? So, let me repeat it one more time. Race car, subway, boat, scooter, skateboard, rocket, submarine, taxi, train, ball train. Ben. Ben. Zeppelin. Zeppelin. Ambulance. Ambulance. Tank. Tank. So, any question that you have right now? 
24. Uh, Repeat. Num which number? I'm sorry. 24. 24 Zeppelin. Zeppelin. Do you know what that is? Uh, Catherine Ramirez. Oh, yeah. That, no, I, I was asking you, do you know what that is? What is the meaning in Spanish? Saben todo lo que significa todo lo que en Spanish? No. Do you say Zeppelin in Spanish? Zeppelin is dirigible. Okay. Any other question, guys? Ask the question. What? Bang. Bang? Bang. Bang. Ah, it's Ben. Ben. It's oh. como una camioneta oh, familiar. Number three. Oh, okay. Number three. Thank you. Sí, la 23 era, dice. Oh, yes, that's una camioneta. Uh, camioneta, pero utilizada para familia, como niños que llevas atrás. Eh, that's pretty much it. 22? 22. Uh, tren That's the, the right. Bullet train. Any other question? 25, 26. Oh, please. 26 tank. It's a tank. Una tanqueta. It will be there. El sinónimo que le damos en español. Thank you. All right. So far. 19. 19. Rocket. That goes to the space. The one that goes to the space. Rocket? No? Okay. Yes. Cohete. Yes, right? yes, thank you. All right. Cool. Any other question? Mm. So if there is no questions, let me go ahead and continue with this. Let's go to the next one. 22. Oh, 22. I'm sorry. Bala train, tren bala. Thank you. So this is the other one, guys. We have, um, let me make the pronunciation for you. We have Comper, we have a Catamaran, we have Train, we have Tow Truck, we have Cruiser, Delivery Truck, Leader, Garbage Truck, Kayak, Yacht, Snowmobile, sailboat, and ship. Let me repeat it one more time for the pronunciation. Comper. Comper. Come tomorrow. Train. 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 Go truck. Go truck. Go truck. Cruiser. Oh, yes, Delivery truck. Delivery truck. Leader. Garbage truck. Garbage truck. Kayak. Kayak. Jet. Jet. Snowmobile. Snowmobile. This one, guys, remember the letter S, the sound of the letter S, snowmobile. Snowmobile. No, 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 no. Sailboat. 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 And ship. 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 All right. So any question that you might have? Mm, any Spanish, please. Understand. Okay, camper. Camper es un carro que se utiliza para acampar. Que también se le llama en nuestro idioma español también le decimos camper. Pero es un anglosismo. Significa 
Es un carro que se utiliza para acampar. ¿Ok? Catamaran. Esa es una embarcación o un bote que tiene vela. Una embarcación con vela. Vela son las como cosas que tiene para poder llevar la dirección. That's catamaran. Train. Esta creo que la mayoría de ustedes la conoce. Tren. Train. Yes. And tow truck. Esto es una grúa. Tow truck. Grúa. Grúa. Cruiser. Es un crucero. Oh. Delivery, yeah. delivery truck es un eh, camión de entregas. Mm -hmm. um, leader, 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 that's un planeador. Mm -hmm. uh, garbage truck es un camión de la basura. Okay? Garbage truck. Kayak. Eh, en español también le llamamos kayak. Es un tipo de bote como pequeñito. Utilizado. Es para una persona. Exacto. Es para una persona generalmente uh -huh. utilizado para un deporte que existe también. Uh -huh. Chat es yate. Snowmobile es... Eh, un vehículo de nieve. Uh, sailboat no, no. Es, es un velero. Y evidentemente ship es un barco, right? Any questions so far, guys? So far, so good. Por ahora todo bien. Yes. 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 Any questions? Yes, All right. Cool. Yes, Very good. So, here we have, uh, like, let me go back. When someone asks you, for example, uh, let's suppose que me hago la pregunta a mí mismo. Okay, Nelson, how do you come to school? Uh, los verbos generalmente utilizados para... Los medios de transporte generalmente son, el más utilizado es este verbo. How do you come to school? ¿Cómo vienes a la escuela? Cuando alguien escucha esa pregunta, how do you come to school? Se está refiriendo a qué medio de transporte tú utilizas para llegar a la escuela. Yo podría también preguntarte, I, I could ask you, how do you come to work? ¿Cómo vienes a trabajar? How do you come to the office? How do you come to the airport? How do you come to uh, what? The stadium? How do you come to, to the beach? You know? Todo ese tipo de cosas utilizando la misma pregunta. How do you come? ¿Qué medio de transporte? That's what it means. Okay? Generalmente para poder responder esa pregunta utilizamos la estructura siguiente. And there it says answer. I come to school. Ahí ese to school lo podemos cambiar por to church, to the office, to the beach, to work, to work and so on. But you got yeah. the idea, okay? So you have to say I come to school by car. Vamos a utilizar la preposición by. Que significa vengo a la escuela en carro. Yes, I come to school by car. I come to school by car. All right, so let me ask. Let me see a volunteer. Any volunteer, guys? Someone that would like to help me? Volunteers. Yo, coach. Yo, teacher. What's your name? Catherine Ramirez. Catherine, hello. Thank you so much for helping me. If I ask you the question, How do you come to school? You tú ves esa imagen you, and you see that image. What will be your answer? Repeat. I come to school. Yo te hago la pregunta, how do you come to school? Y tú ves esa imagen. 
¿Cuál sería tu respuesta? Uh, um, I come to school by taxi. By taxi. That's right. I come to school by taxi. Thank you so much, Cather. So let me see. Any other volunteer? No se peleen, verdad? Solo uno quiero. Me? I come to school be by bus. I come to school by bus. Thank you, sir. Escuché que alguien más dijo me, pero no sabía. I don't know who that me is. No? Okay. Yeah. Any volunteer? Volunteer. I come to school by bueno. See, I come to school by train. Okay, very good. Okay. And the last one, let me ask someone. Uh, let me see, Monica Escobar. Hello, are you there? La tía, madre. Are you there, Monica? Or Monica Calderon. We have two Monicas actually. Monica Calderon, are you there? Well, they are not there. So Eduardo Mercado, you're there, sir. Hi. I gone to I gone to motorcycle. Still missing something over there. Algo, algo falta. Bye. Bye. I gone to a school motorcycle. What is missing? Come... ¿Qué es lo que falta? What I... is missing? Bye. Bye. I come to a school by yeah. yeah. motorcycle. I come to school by motorcycle. Okay, very good. I see that you're paying attention to that. All right, guys. So. Um, oh, here we have, here we have a practice. And for this, para esto, I'm going to, I'm going to create a uh, breakout rooms. Bueno, vamos a ir a otro, a un breakout rooms para trabajar en equipos, okay? So please, if you have, uh, if you are using your phone, están utilizando su teléfono, please take a screenshot Tomen una captura de pantalla, screenshot, porque lo van a necesitar. Los que están by computer, take a photo of this because you will need it to work on that, ¿ok? Ok, sí. So, háganme saber okay. cuando ya, ya lo hayan hecho. So I can go to the next one. Ya, yeah, yeah. Ok, cool. This one. Take a photo as well, or take a screenshot on your phone so you can see it later on. Finish. Okay, perfect. So I will stop sharing the screen. Dejaré de compartir la pantalla, and we are going to go to the break of rooms. Yes? Let me see. Um, all right, perfect. So we are 18 right now. Somos 18 personas in the meeting. So let me see. Okay, so we're going to go to the breakout rooms, guys. You are going to work with a team. Van a trabajar en equipos, okay? After that, after we come back to the practice, I will ask anyone. Lo voy a preguntar a cualquiera, okay? So please, every one of you, Work on the exercises, okay? Yeah. Teacher, teacher, una, teacher. una pregunta. Yes. ¿Qué hay que hacer en la primera que dice solo practice? On the first part, you only need to give me the, the name of the image. Ah, okay. Gracias. All right. So, let's go now. Solo vamos a practicar o cómo? Yes, Let's practice.
How do you come to a school? Podemos ser how do you come to work? ¿Cuántas somos? ¿Somos cuatro? Cinco somos. Cinco. 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 By train. By train. By train. El siguiente es plane o airplane. Um, plane. 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 I go to work by, 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 by plane. Very good, guys. I see that you're working together. That's something really cool, okay? Keep on doing that. De, del número número eight sería garbage truck verdad sí garbage truck ajá okay y la otra sí sería patineta o le ponemos delivery truck ah puede ser sí delivery delivery truck y number Fine. Monocycle. Yes. Creo que es bien porque mm. el último o bot o, o ship. Es scooter. Es el penúltimo scooter. es scooter. ¿Cómo? Scooter, el penúltimo. ¿Qué es... escribe? Scooter. No, ¿cómo? <risa> ah, ya, 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 ya. Sería, sí, sí, bueno. ¿Y el último cómo dice? Ship o boat. Mm. El último escuché yo que decíamos que era scooter. ¿Y, y dónde está ese otro monocycle le pusieron? ¿A cuál? Oh. Yo lo he numerado, no sé cuál dice usted. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ah, Hacia ok, bajito. ok. Bueno. <risa> eh, train, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ok. Ay, usted train. tiene ojo de águila. Nos <risa> falta. No encuentro otra. Nos faltan eh, dos. The eh, next. The eh... next. Hmm. Eh... Very good, guys. Very good work, Tim. Very talented. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Eh, falta... Eh, what is the next?
Gran silencio. <risa> es que esta es la concentración. Exacto, es la concentración. <risa> Ya mejor es... Pero... Vas también. ¿A dónde? Eh, ah, un, un, ya. En la tercera, ¿verdad? Sí. Vas. Motor, motorcicor, dale. Clavo rebelde. Ajá. Ajá. Sí. Yo creo que son las seis, ¿verdad? Son las seis. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Ah, pero es que dos veces sin emocionar. ¿Qué pasó? Ya no me acuerdo dónde estaba Train y la borré. Ah, aquí está. De la mar. A ver. Una falta.
No puede ser. Ay, no, no le cuento. No. Okay, um, well, how was the practice test? Was it easy? Was it simple? Was it difficult? The workshop is difficult, but your team uh, only encontrar. Fine. ¿Cómo? Fine. Five. Five. Uh, five. Five words. Okay. Five words. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Let me ask. Let me see. Um, I will need volunteers for this part. Let me show you this part. For this part. So I will need any volunteer that will help me with this part. The first one. Rice car. I'm sorry. Rice car. Okay, very good. Number two, any other volunteer? Bus. Bus. Perfect. The next one. Train. 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 Plane. Plane. Bike. Bike. Next one. Motorcycle. 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 Next one. Helicopter. 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 Very good. Next one. Garbage truck. Garbage truck. Scooter. 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 Remember. But. Six. But. La última. It can be to vote or to pick. So let me see on this part. Can someone tell me, uh, Eduardo Mercado, which words did you find on the word search? Um, car. Which one? Car. Car, okay. Roxana Lopez. Motorcycle, perdón. Motorcycle, no, it's okay. Roxana Lopez, did you find another one? Um, bus. Bus, okay. Hazel. Train. Train. Train, very good. Another one? Car. Car, yeah. Subway. Subway. Can you repeat that? Basically, let's say drop. No, we don't find subway. 
Stop. Did any of you find it? Alguien lo encontró? Did any of you did it? Subway? Yes. No. No. Subway. It is such yes. a Let me show. Yes. You. Yes. yes. Uh, it is yes. right here. Right mm. subway. Yes. Subway. Okay. Well, guys, it is uh, 9.05, so uh, thank you so much for coming to the class, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this class and you have learned a little bit about transportation, okay? So um, one last thing before you go. Please, since today you are able to work on the platform, please try to start working on the platform because at the end of the module, you have to have at least 90%, 90%, okay? So please try to keep working on the platform. If you have questions, ask the questions through the WhatsApp group. So there we can share some opinions, okay? So uh, thank you so much for coming to the class, guys. Remember, work on the platform and I hope you have a good night, okay? So thank you so much for coming. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.